Hey guys, hope you're doing well today. So I thought that alongside me doing all of the tournaments, it would be cool if I kind of did a tier list for me of uh, all the characters so you guys knew what I thought. I do have some people kind of asking, oh, how would you vote and whatnot. Um, but I think it's not good to do that while the tournament's happening, just in case I influence anyone. Because um, maybe someone who doesn't know about the characters might think, oh, I'll vote for them because, you know, I like them or something like that. So yeah, I thought I'd make tier lists after I finish the tournaments. So I think that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. And I'm also going to try and make these tier lists shorter than the previous ones because they're all 40 minutes plus. So I'll try and hit under half an hour if I can. I do have minimal stuff to say about some of the characters from games I haven't really played. So I'll get right into it. First off is Anand. So I think she's pretty cool. I do like her as a character, but I don't know that much about her. So it'd be wrong for me to put her anywhere higher than B. Um, I would maybe have to put her in C because I don't really know her that well, but I think she's cool in Faye. What I have seen of her, like small clips of her dialogue and whatnot, she seems pretty cool and I like her design. So I'll put her in B just because I don't have anything negative to say about her, but I can't say I have too much. Okay, cool, I can whiz, whiz through these quickly. Sheeda, as I like to call her, even though it is now Sheeda. Um, I think I'd put her. I think it's a struggle for me to put her in S. Because there are characters I like more than her. I may move her into S, thinking about it later, because I do like her. But I can't say she's ever been like super standout for me. I like her quite a lot. I like her from the supports I've seen of her. I like her in uh, Warriors, I like Gunfei, and I have from what I've played of Shadow Dragon, etc. I do like her in that as well. So, yeah, I don't think she's like super interesting. I'm surprised, like, she's very popular, but I don't know if that's because she's just kind of like a main character. There is nice things about her, but I feel like she doesn't have many flaws, which can be said about some of the other characters here as well. <coughs> Cordelia, etc. Um, no, I guess Cordelia kind of has a flaw, but yeah, I can't... Which is like a nice and a kind of boring thing about her, you know what I mean? So, but I do like her, she's cool, um, and I like her, you know, recruiting kind of thing and whatnot. Kaldori I'd actually put above Cedar, which might surprise a lot of people. I'm not going to put Cordelia above her. Um, spoilers. I should do them together as a pair. I'll do them now. I think Kaldori is just a better written version of Cordelia, honestly. I find her supports make her a lot more endearing and she's just, to me, a more interesting character. I, I like the whole thing with, um, her, you know, her dad and whatnot, um, Tsubaki. And um, I've seen some good fan support of her and whatnot, like rewritten of her and Selena, which is super interesting. So maybe that swayed me a little bit, like seeing the fan supports. It happens to a lot of Fates characters because I've seen so many fan supports. But I slightly prefer her design, and I also think she's a pretty interesting character too. But she is basically a Cordelia clone, so I wouldn't rate her. I've never put her higher than that. Cordelia will actually put in B above an and. No, that's so that's so unfair. I have to put her in A still because I use her when I play Awakening. I played Awakening four times. I think I've used her in three of my runs properly. Um, I always do want to give Gale Force to Severa, but Cordelia is still cool. She's got good design. I like her quick quotes. I like both their quick quotes. Um, to be honest, I probably prefer Kaldori's quick quotes once again. Um, yeah, they're, they're good. Uh, but yeah, both of them are pretty cool. Pretty good design, pretty standard. Cordelia won the tournament, as you know, and I'm cool with that. Um, but yeah. Catria. I don't think she can quite go into SS. I don't think she claims top, top tip. Maybe. If anyone's... Uh, there might only be one character in there. Spoilers, some of you may know. Catria's my favourite of the White Wings. She's... Um, she's just a badass. Like... Shadows of Valentia made me like her loads. It's just her quotes constantly. A lot of the time when characters don't have extended amounts of support for me to get to know them, it's their design, and I like Hatcher's design a lot. Um, like, she looks cool, but also kind of cute at the same time. And then it's, like, her um, kill quotes, not necessarily her quick quotes. Her kill quotes are awesome in SOB, when she's like, um, this is a fight I can't lose. Just the way she says it. Awesome. I think I did an SOB tier list the other day, and what he talked about all this. Um, yeah, I, I like her design. I like her just in general. She's uh, kind of like very serious, but also like a bit dirty sometimes. You know what I mean? Like she can be caught off guard and she's really sweet and whatnot. So yeah, 
um, and she's always awesome in battle. Chloe, I'd only put in B. Um, like her design, it's cool how strong a unit she is and whatnot, but that's not really what makes me like someone. I'd say she should maybe be an A for overall character, but it's like, I'm disappointed because I feel like she could have been more. I feel like it's just too much focus on the whole food thing and the kind of uh, story stuff, you know, like fairy tales. Like, I feel like that was most of her character. Like, I didn't feel like I kind of got actually into what she's like as a person that much. I mean, a little bit, but I don't know. It's a bit, again, it's too much focus and it took away from her in a way rather than added to her, for me at least. Like, I was hoping for more from her. Um, so yeah, I find that I found that a bit disappointing. But I haven't seen every single one of her support, so I could be wrong. Um, maybe there is more to her than I think, and I know a lot of people like her, obviously. Um, yeah, she's got great design. I, I, you know, I like her, but not like I can't say that much. I put her above an end because I do actually know Chloe, uh, but I didn't use her when I played Engage either time actually. Claire definitely yes. Um, Claire's awesome. Uh, she's hilarious. She's just a bit a queen is what you would call her literally in all senses um yeah she, no she's just great like she's just got so much character you know what i mean like she's so different and in such a good way like she's just snobbish and noble but without being rude like comes off as rude maybe the first time you meet her but you know she's just trying to be um you know, that's just how she is, like, and she's trying to be kind when she can be all the time and um, very understanding, and it's just a bit of ignorance that holds her back at the start when you first meet her, but you learn, like, she's actually very sweet and caring and whatnot, and just honestly very honest as well, which is really nice. Okay, I should have saved it till last, but it's easy, SS, the best Pegasus Knight, easily, Cynthia, my favourite. Um, she's just the most honourable, true, just character there is in Fire Emblem. The most true of heart there is. Uh, what's not... Uh, she's just so fun all the time. This is the end, friend. I, this thing is before I even played Awakening, because, you know, I got into Fire Emblem too late, anyway. Um, before I even played Awakening, I had listened to, you know, the Crypt Quotes video, and... As soon as I heard Cynthia's quick notes, I was like, oh, I can just, like, just the way she says them, I was like, I kind of like this character, like, and I got, I started liking her before I even played the game. Um, and then obviously when I played it, I was like, oh my god, I love her. Like, she's annoying sometimes, but in, like, a really adorable way. Um, just, like, you know, I can't, I can't think of anyone just yet. It's just, like, she's just so sweet and, yeah. Justice is all I would say. Dispense it. She's the real hero. If anyone's the hero of the story, you know, um, like all the characters, I like all the child characters from Awakening because they got their whole, you know, their parents are there, they're living in as well. But Cynthia, like, her response to the world being like fucked and like her parents, excuse me, <laughs> her parents dying and everything is that she, um, you know, wants to be the heroes and like replace the dead, you know, from and that lot and whatnot. Um, so I give her a blue hair, that's her dad in it, canon, Samir Kwon. Um, she wants to like replace him, she wants to be that hero and like, she is a, she she always like comes off like saying she wants to be, but she doesn't like quite believe she is, but in the fact, the fact of the matter is, she is more than anyone else, to me at least. Um, yeah, that's like half the video talking about Cynthia. Right, this is Dithorba, not Pamela. Again, I like her in Faye, I like her design, got nothing else to say, I'll put her in B. Um, actually, you know what, she looks less cool than Pamela. Uh, I, it's like, should I put these people in C that I know little about? I don't know. I'm just going based off design. I don't know enough about them, if I'm being very real. I then say I'd put an S. Um, I think she's cool. I, I like, you know, she's kind of a similar character to Selica in a little bit. Not exactly the same, but the whole, you know, doesn't really want to fight, but will if they need to. And I liked her in Radiant Dawn a lot. I thought she was really good in it. Um, I like her POR, uh, you know, late game outfit the most design. That's why I use that for the tournament and everything. Yeah, again, she's just 
Um, I think she's pretty well written as well. Like she comes, she grows a lot. You know, she comes out of her shell and everything, and you know, she just starts off as like a kind of lost princess, um, and then she kind of grows into it like a warrior and a quite a strong and queen who makes good decisions. And she gets battered by her people all the time. You know, there's there's hate towards her um, in the games, and she kind of tries to do her best, trying to do what's right for everyone. So yeah, she's a sweet. Emma. Did I put her above Claire in my other tier list? I don't know. She she's around she's around this area. But yeah, again. If you need want to hear more about Capture Claire and Emma, go watch my SOV one. I won't talk too much again. I did already a bit, but Emma's just like the funnest character, honestly. Just everything she says is just hilarious or sweet and she's just like a bundle of joy. Her and Cynthia, that would be a great duo in Faye. Oh my days, that'd be amazing. Please, Faye. Ah oh yes, do it. Um, she's got the cutest design too. Her little bunny ribbon thing is so adorable. And yeah, Emma's just such a sweetie. She's great. And yeah, bye bye bad guy on the quick quote. Um, this is Erinus. Yeah. Um, I like her design the most out of these guys. So yeah, put her there. Uh, what more can be said? Um, yeah, she's got cool design. She seems pretty awesome from the quotes I've seen. I think I'd like her a lot when I played uh, when I played genealogy intuition and stuff. Um, I think she's just genealogy, right? I'm sorry to genealogy intuition fans. I'm not amazingly well educated because um, I'm still waiting for the remakes. S is in high A like that. I like Esther a lot. Uh, again, she gets too much hate. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the SOV characters not too much because again, I've, I've talked too much about them in the video. She's yeah, she's just grown on me tons over the time of playing uh, Fire Emblem games and whatnot, and seeing more about her. Like she comes off maybe a bit over the top and annoying and selfish sometimes at first, but realistically, she's not. She's just trying to live her best life, and she cares a lot about her sisters and is uh, sweetie. So yeah, I like her. Farina, unfortunately, I'm not into the whole... I don't really have any reason to put anyone in this list at all in C, do I? I like... Should I just... Should I like... I think maybe it's unfair to put these characters that I don't know anything about. I'll put Erinus up, because I specifically like her. Uh, Farina, I will put in C, actually. I don't like the whole money thing. Like, I just don't... There aren't many characters I like where the whole thing is about money. Um... Like, Anna does it in a funny way, but when it's just like a mercenary character, like, I'm just like... Whatever. Like, I just, it, again, not a trait I'm big into. She's quite fun, and I like her design-ish, but I think it would be unfair for me to put her higher than C. This is Fee, and I like her design more than Dithorba's don't know anything about her sorry to say so yeah that's all I can say Fiora I think she's got great design she's pretty cool um uh yeah she, she's very like calm and whatnot and yeah, I, I do like just her dynamic with her system whatnot as well I liked her when I played uh Blazing Blade Blazing Binding I'm so bad again mixed up all the time but I played all the GBAs and yeah I like her design a lot she's cool um, Florina. I don't think I can put above. Okay, sorry. Fiora. I don't. Brain fart. Florina. Farina. Got it. I can't put her above. I like her design a lot, and I think she's really sweet with Len. Um, yeah. Blazing Blade, yeah. Um,. And uh, I do like, yeah, her dynamic with Lynn. I think it's pretty adorable. And I liked using her. And she was pretty strong for me, actually, on my run. Right, next is Hermina. Once again, little to say. I like her design the least, I guess. Hinoka. Underrated character. I probably like catching more than her, but i got to put her there just to respect. Now, honestly, I love Hinoka because it's just like... You know, at first, again, I didn't like her. The first two times I played through Fates, I didn't even like her that much. But, you know, she's badass. She's awesome. And she's got great design. I just think she's really cool. 
I, I, I like her. I, I don't know like if there's that much reason I got. I like her design a lot. I like her cutscenes. I think she doesn't really ever come off as like she's never like like cringe or anything. Like I feel like she kind of stands in like in fates as one of like just the constantly cool characters. Obviously she's got that like whole thing for Corin, but I like that like her reaction to her sibling being taken was just like she wants to become Pegasus Knight and go save them. She's trying to leave like on her own and fly off and whatnot and go, you know, save Corin. And I think that's kind of like I think that's kind of awesome. Like she's very um motivated and you know just does what she wants to do but like it, while still being a very kind and like honorable character and she's like composed but also like you know utilizes her emotions in a good way so i think she's a pretty good example to a lot of people and like i feel like all the hashid and young girls were like oh Hinoka, she's amazing kind of thing yeah she's like warrior princess she's awesome ingrid will also go in s Yes, I know a lot of people have their gripes with Ingrid, but I think she's extremely well written. She's got good arcs and many of her supports for lots of different parts of her character where she improves them. I love the knightly thing. She's awesome in battle. She like she shouts her quick quotes as I like. She's like so determined. Um, I love her design, especially pre time skip uh, academy phase. I just think she looks cool. And um, I like her voice acting tons, which always helps. Which is the case for most people in the high tiers. Again, for me, good voice acting is a must. Um, and if you don't have it, like Alencia, really, or limited voice acting. Um, uh, but yeah, Ingrid, really cool. I'd have to move her... I don't know if I'd move her above Emma and Claire and Katria. I think that might be a push, but I do really like Ingrid. Um... Again, she's like a flawed character, but she's got loads of good and bad traits, so she's really interesting. And I just like her knightliness and her background and everything. Yeah, and she's got some pretty funny supports as well. I'm just thinking of her and Claws especially, I don't know, I find that one super hilarious. Like, she's being so rude, but it's very funny. Right. Um, Juno. She's quite cool, but I can't say I like her as much as the other two sisters. Maybe it's because she comes too late in the game. I don't like her as much time to use her and whatnot. Uh, yeah, she's cool. That's really what I've got to say. But I, I don't have like that strong memories of her, but I like her. I think it may be wrong to put me in it. Put her on A, yeah. Oh, damn. Wait. <laughs> this is... Oh, yeah, this is Karen... And this is Misha, okay, yeah. I know Karen from stuff a little bit. She's quite cool, so I'll put her in B, just because I, yeah, I kind of like her. She's using cool for a lot of characters I don't know much about as well, but yeah. Uh, Marcia is above Kaldori, but below Est. I think that's fair. Probably just because I know Marcia less than Est, because, you know, I've, I've played SOV multiple times. I've only played PR and Radiant Dawn once each but i like marcia a lot she's just again pretty fun but also like she's like focused and fun at the same time you know what i mean like she does what needs to be done kind of thing and i like her design a lot and thank god that she manages to put up with her idiot brother the worst character in fire emblem makalot makalov i hate that guy and she deals with him nicely she's a good lass Gotta respect her loyalty as well to my girl Alencia. Big up Marcia. And yeah, this is Misha. I like her design more than those three. Those, yeah. But again, don't know her well enough. I'll move on. Pala. I think it's wrong me not to put her in S, and I think probably above Alencia. Actually. Uh, yeah, I like Pala a lot. Um, uh, very understanding is how I'd explain Pala. Like, I feel like she'd be a good therapist, Pala, definitely. Um, she, she deals with her whole sister dynamic very well. Um, she's very doting as well. Looks after her sisters nicely, always makes sure they're good. I love their little uh, trio in Faye as well. That, like, her, even her as a, when she was a kid, she was still looking after them. Really cute. And, uh, yeah. 
I, I like Pala. If you want to hear more, watch my SOV one. Um, because, yeah, I just don't want to keep repeating myself. But good voice acting, good lass. Gotta love Pala. This is Pamela. Again, she can go alongside the Thorba. I guess I slightly fur design because of longer hair. but So I'd say I don't know enough. Um, oh my god, I forgot her name for a second. Filler. I like her a lot. I'd move her here, below Shida, above Cordelia. I like Filler. I think it's a shame she wasn't in Awakening more because I wish she was playable and whatnot. Because um, I think she's cool. She's got cool design. She's like a classic strict uh, leader of Pegasus Knights and whatnot. Her and Tanith, I feel, have a lot of similarities. But I like Filler. She's cool. Yep. Raina's a weird one. Like, I don't know how I feel about Raina fully. I think I put her there? I was... I was drawn in by her design when I first saw her, and then I was pulled back a bit by her, like, savage... I was like, damn, she's mean. Um, Cry out in pain, she says in one of her uh, quick quotes. And I was like, my dates, this woman. And then... I've seen her supports, and I think she's really interesting, and I like her design a lot. And she's kind of a badass too. I use that word a lot. Badass and cool. Incredible uh, description words. But yeah, I like Reyna. Uh, good enough. Let's not dwell too long on everyone, because I want to finish up as quick as I can. Shanna. I like Shanna. Would I put her above these two? As a character, I've Think she's kind of boring she reminds me of est a lot and it's just like kind of a clone to me sorry if i'm wrong but from all this from the kind of support stuff i've seen in our conversations and start as a character kind of vibes i get however she popped off for me in my uh playthrough so i'll put her there because she was a beast she was getting all sorts of level ups and you know what Got to go with her sister straight away. So was Thea. Because Thea was even more of a beast. She carried me. I've got she got to pop her up. Because she was so strong. I'll put her there. Actually, you know what? I'll put her there. She was... And I love her design too. I love her hair colour more than anyone else for some reason. It's very similar to similar to Fiora's. Um, but I just really like that kind of shade of blue. It looks really kind of elegant. But also kind of strong. They both give that off actually. Uh, they're similar in that way. Um, and yeah, I could, she kind of reminds me of Catcher as well. She's very calm and composed. I think she's cool. Yeah, there we go. Uh, cool. Shigure, my boy. Does he go? Yeah, yeah. Does he go above Est? I think he's a really good character. Airs of Fate makes him even better. I like his supports in general. I like his design. I like the whole singing uh, thing, obviously. Him and Azura uh, making tunes. Beautiful voices. And obviously the Matt Mercer voicing helps with any character, as usual. Yeah, he's just... Um, he's well written, just in general. And he's got great design, so there we go. Um, Sigrun, a lot of names to remember, I like her, uh, again one of the classic Pegasus Knight Captains, I don't think I'd put, I think I'd put her top a bit, I can't say I was ever like enthralled by her as a character, I found Tanith slightly more interesting, but good design and yeah, just seemed pretty nice and whatnot. Don't have too much more to say, if I'm being very real. So this is a weird one to have in the tournament. Um, Sagune, Sagune, however we want to say it. Uh, I kind of had to just fit 40, so I thought I'd put her in this poll as well, even though I don't really put the villain characters in. Uh, she's kind of not very nice. <laughs> so I'll put her there, but her design's kind of interesting and unique, so I guess... Sure, like, she can go here. Sabaki, I never really liked, if I'm being honest. I found him kind of boring. 
Uh, so I'll put him... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like his supports with Hannah. Hannah, I should say. And I love Hannah, but... Apart from that, I never found him that interesting. I think I've seen almost all of his supports and none of them blew me away. The trope isn't done as well with him, I feel. The whole, he's perfect thing. I don't know, I guess it's nice that he was the first male Pegasus Knight, right? Ever. Which obviously is a big positive for him. Um, but I can't say I personally have ever wanted to. I've never used him, actually. All I've ever done is use him to get Kaldori. Samia, underrated character. Too much hate towards her name. Put some respect on Samia's name. One above Valencia? Below Pala? Yeah. I will say she gets bonus points for being Cynthia's mum. And also for her amazing quick quote. Um, uh, I'll end this now. Just the way she says it. Not very well executed by me. Is so good. And yeah, I love her for that. I, I just... I find her endearing. The clumsiness can be a little bit annoying, but she's got fantastic design in my opinion. I like the first cutscene with Quam. She comes off so like not clumsy in that one, like so focused. So I, I gonna, she has a really good more than any other character really of outside of battle and in battle. Actually, well, Yonaka's is probably the biggest example, but outside of battle, she's like clumsy and everything and kind of derpy. And then when she's in her element in battle and just like the you know pegasus and horses and whatnot she's like super focused super on it very awesome and i like that a lot about her i like that change like it makes her feel like quite layered and interesting and you know that is quite true for a lot of people like when they're in their element they kind of a different person and i yeah, i've always thought she was really cool on the battlefield for release um this is uh sirene or sirene however it's probably pronounced I didn't actually use her in my playthrough. She was fine. Um, I didn't use her much. Uh, I used Vanessa a lot more and I like Vanessa a lot and she went ham for me. So I'll do them together and I'll put Vanessa here. I like Vanessa. Um, actually I put her above Raina. I put her above Cordelia, I think that's a stretch. But um, I like Vanessa. I like her design too. I don't really like Sirene's design that much. Me being someone who wears a hairband and kind of saying I don't like someone with a hairband, I feel like blasphemy. But, um, I don't know. I was never that intrigued by her, so that's all I've got to say, I guess. Tana. Bottom of A. I really like Tana's design. The first time I saw her, I was like, oh, she's adorable and cool looking. Which is a very, again, these pe a lot of pegs tonight have overlapped. So, I'm just saying the same thing for a lot of people, but I guess it's kind of an archetype generally here that a lot of the characters are reasonably similar. They've kind of made the White Wings, and they're like, we need to kind of use a bit of the White Wings in all the Pegasus Knights we do in some way. But yeah, I like Tano a lot. Um, I think she's actually reasonably well written too. Um, yeah, she cool. She cool. Um, I like her relationship with Ines and... Uh, Erica. Yeah, I like Tana. Panic! I would put. Probably here. I feel wrong putting Shanna here, actually. I, even though like, she was good in my run, I think. You know what, honestly, I'll move her down. Uh, okay. Tanit's cool. Put above Reyna. No. Mm. She's, she's unique. If a Pegasus Knight in her design, Pegasus Knight in her design, only one with kind of darkish hair, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, like she's got she's got all like more darker colours. I mean, just in general, everyone else is, is quite a light appearance. Um, like you know, with her armor and her dark brown hair, and that gives makes her very serious looking. And she is very serious, but she a few times shows kind of like a sweet, a caring side to her. So she's a really good person, but just like she keeps a very serious exterior to kind of keep the troops in line. And I like that; she's interesting. Tsubasa, I have to say, yet to play Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Can't go off anything but her design. I like it a lot. I'll slap her near the top of it. Cool. Right, well, what, looking at my time limit, it looks like I probably got this done in around half an hour. Maybe, hopefully. Um, hopefully this video wasn't too long. 
I hope it was interesting to hear my thoughts. I'll try and again get my focus to do these quicker and I'll be hopefully doing these um, for all the polls I do and yeah the next one will be shorter because it's the Anna poll and you can hear what I think about the Annas. I'll probably spend, I'll try and do a minute on each character. There were 40 in this so I guess 40 minutes is probably appropriate. Ciao, have a lovely rest of your day and see you later.